I mean, usually... Yeah, I mean, I can pick stuff up. Like that. I don't know, I don't think it works in defense, because I think the way just defense works, hold your hands up to your face. There is another mod I was going to install, but I didn't get around to it. Because apparently people are finding out that um, guns are actually always hip firing. So you know, you know, when you when you play standard fallout, you know, when you bring it up your iron sight and your accuracy is legit supposed to go up. And then when it's down, you're hip firing, so there's more RNG going on. So people are finding out that apparently um, there is some iron sights going on, but it's really dang small, apparently. So even when you bring the iron sights up, you're still the game still thinks you're technically hip-firing. I think. I don't know. I mean, once, once, when I've got good sights, I can actually, you know, hit my targets pretty well. But, um... Look, I need to see some ID. Alright, you're clear. <laughs> I'm gonna say that joke every time. <sighs> Goodness. You know the original game you could hold out. Oh, yeah, you said that. Uh, no, oh, it will take the incoming fire, but the downside is it blocks your fire also. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, the the scope thing again. Currently, it's a mod I've got installed that lets me see through the scopes. Plus the the sight that's on my pistol. That's a mod that lets you see it a little bit better. Um, yeah. I'm gonna look into the mod that apparently lets you shoot a bit more accurate. That it takes some of the RNG out of it. Let's we'll see about it. Especially. Oh, jeez, dog me. I thought that was. Somebody else coming up around. I don't know. I've, I've debated on it because, I mean, I'm not terrible shot now that I've gotten used to the shooting, but, you know. I don't want to get cheaty. Alright. We're going to... I'm going to distract a little bit. But yeah, like I say, I'm, I mean, I'm installing mods incrementally, so making sure they don't, you know, break my game or destroy my performance. I think I remember this place. This place. Security alerts. Containment lockdown in effect. Administration has initiated a containment lockdown for this facility. All security staff maintain site integrity until further instructed by executive personnel. Use of deadly force authorized. Right. It's okay, tell me. Got it. Okay, let's turn this signal off while I'm in here. Why does this place have Psycho in it? There's also a lot of drinking going on. lead in it. In this world, it's actual lead. Here, take a broom. Don't 
me. What the hell? Your skin's gone again. Hang on, let's go back outside and reload this. Something's going on. I wonder if it's one of my mods. Seems to be just... It, I wonder if it's a lighting thing. Yeah. That's gonna make things harder. In fact... He's got no light at all. I think that's what's happening. Something's breaking his lighting. Huh. Interesting. So that means everything inside a building that's gonna have shadow is gonna have no lighting. Alright. I'm gonna have to go through eventually and see what's breaking that. Cause that's... that's weird. It wasn't doing it in the vault though. Is this something I've got in... Hmm, maybe it's... Maybe it's not something installed. Maybe it's an effect I've got? I don't know. Something, something's bugging out. Yeah, that means everything I look at is not going to have a... have a light to it. Yeah, he's, there's some glitch going on. This is the first time that, and the only thing I can think that I've updated is the scope mod. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what's causing it. Get in. But yeah, it means, like, everything's going to end up that way. It seems like it's the glow, because, like, he's got zero, he's got zero lighting, and, um, characters are all supposed to have gl a bit of glow to them, which is one of the things you can disable, which I didn't disable that, so, I'm not sure why he's not got lighting, but he's got, he's now got zero lighting, I guess, is what it seems like. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll have to test it after the stream and see if it's a mod issue. I don't have many mods installed, but could be the mod loader as well. Exploring about impossible. Yeah, everything's. That's gonna be impossible! Huh. I wonder what I've done. I did mess with something else. I don't think that would have affected it, though. Again, we'll deal with it for now. And then, after the stream's over, I'll start troubleshooting, figuring out what the cause is. Yeah. Black on a black background's gonna be quite impossible. So weird. Shader settings? I'm not sure. Like, I really don't know. I don't have, like, I don't have any shader mods on either. I haven't, I haven't tweaked the, the shaders at all.
So that's that's where I'm kind of curious about what's going on. Because I haven't tweaked the shaders. In fact, I haven't... I haven't messed with the settings really hardly at all. I reverted a lot of them. And they were like saved files, so it wasn't like I mistyped anything. Any reversion is just... Would have been legit what it was. Hmm. Wonder if it's the no lens effect, maybe. Wonder if it's somehow... Hmm. Let's try something. Don't we? No. Because it's supposed to take the reflective lens off end, and I wondered if maybe that effect was happening. No, that one's... That one's still got a skin. Oh shit, they're gonna come at me from there. I think. It's not 100%. One up, one down. Where? Oh, I've got one up. There was one that had a skin. He wasn't bugged. just made a yelp. Look, even... Wait, whoa! What? He came back for a moment. Okay, you know what? Let's restart the game. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe my game's just ultimately bugging out. Because he showed up for a minute. That's weird. Yeah, and he yelped at one point when he wasn't doing anything, so I think... I think something's wrong. Let's quit. Let's restart the game. Let's see what's going on. Full restart, which means I gotta. So it's 3:35. Means at least I'm about to stop the giveaway. Now I know this is gonna pop a window in your guys' view, so I gotta fix that. Yeah, there it goes. All right. Let me make that adjustment. Ugh. There we go. Ah, stand on the cable on my headset. I'm going to yank that cable out one day. There we go. Hopefully it fixes it. Okay, he's fixed. Dog meat? Nope. Hmm. Something's totally 
bugged. All right, it, it's got to be. It's, it might be the scope mod doing something weird. I don't know. Busted. It's weird that it only does it indoors. Like I say, it's it's got to be. Now look, part of him wants to show up. Hmm. That is weird. It is. It's yeah. It's it's got to be a lighting thing that's going on. It's the only thing I can figure out. The lighting is bugged out. And it's it's got to it's got to be the mod. That's the only thing I have changed since last time. <sighs> Heads it's starting to bug me. If it turns out it's the see-through scope mod that's doing it, then I'll just remove it. I mean, I love I love doing sniper things, but I mean, without the zoom, being a sniper is a bit tricky anyway. I could probably do it, but. Although, The sound is delayed. Hmm. The in-game audio seems to be delayed. That's something else that's going on, because he's still doing the growling and you're still hearing the attack noises even after the ghoul is dead. Huh. Is there something? Hang on. I'm gonna check something real quick here. Doesn't look like that, does it? What do we got? We're not timing out. We're having a reprojection really high, but that's pretty normal. Uh. I mean, honestly, all this pretty normal for me. Don't know. It's gotta be a mod. Fuck! I didn't want the platter. I wanted the. Plus, I'm getting like in here. I'm actually getting screen tearing, and I've never seen that before. There is actually there is one other thing I can make an adjustment to, which might be the con. No, it wouldn't affect. The Maybe it would. There was a setting I turned off in Windows called Full Screen Optimization. That is the only other change I've made between now and then, and I turned that off because the game isn't in full screen, but maybe technically it is being in my headset. Now let's point that gun in my face. Now some people, a lot of people said turn that off because it would up your performance, but that is the only other thing that is essentially different, aside from one mod and um, that setting. Those are the only two things I've done different since last time. Well, that Windows had an update. That's true. That's something else that's happened. Hmm. I see anything odd in my graphics? I haven't, like I say, I haven't changed anything. I changed one thing, but that wouldn't do it.
I mean, for the most part, we're going to be, I think, you know, for the mission we're doing. I hear one in there. Finally, do get to the uh, one mission I've been following after for the past three streams. Um. Actually, one thing we can do. Let's see. Has Elysium done the thing yet? As soon as maybe okay. Once Elysium closes the raffle. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll do some, I'll revert some things, so we'll see. So I do kind of want to temporarily take my headset off. It's, um, approaching that time where it's bugging me a little bit. Word. These are three different desks. Well, surely his password's somewhere, right? I don't think I've ever actually finished this building now that I think about it. I want to say I haven't. Alright, we're going back outside. I should fix that lighting bug at least. Like how you can fling objects around the room. You can, you can. F oh, she's over there. Yeah, the glow effect on bodies still seems to be a thing, so that's not the bug. Right. Hmm. Um, you can pick up rag dolls. Uh oh, looks like that sounds like a rad storm. It is. We've got a rad storm incoming. Um. You can pick up ragdoll bodies. It's kind of it's kind of a trick, and normally it works 100%. Though it did crash me once. So, oh, and Elysium has stopped. All right, good timing. So you can do it if, say, so fuck's sake, if you bring up that. There we go. Pick up your track with your trackpad. 
I've done this many times and only once did it ever crash the game, so... Best part is I can dance them around. Can't really rotate them though. All right, so at least you must finish the raffle. So let's go ahead and save it, and we'll make some adjustments and see. I'll make two adjustments, and we'll see what that does. If that doesn't fix the lighting bug, then well, let's see. quite hot in here. <laughs> My face is completely sweaty. Alright, um, let's put those there. You can see the floating things. Alright, um, swap my cams. Hello. Alright, there I am. How you doing? Does that would make it easier to place items then? It, it does. Um, again, it, it's not like the way you're meant to do it, because I don't think there's an official way to be able to pick up the ragdoll bodies. And like, you have to kind of, you have to have one interface up while you pick it up with the other, so. Alright, so I'm going to make some adjustments, and Elysian Bot has gone in. Oh. We do have some entries for the raffle. All right, cool. So yes, we'll do the thing for giving away a copy of Anomaly 2, I think it was. Yes, it is. All right, so entries are closed. And I will have her pick in just a second. Um, right, what did I say I was gonna fix? Let's go in here. Check the local files. So we'll turn this back on. Disable full screen optimizations. I was getting some screen tearing, but again. We'll see if that fixes it. If not, there's another adjustment I can make. As for enters on the giveaway, well on the giveaway I am giving away a copy of Anomaly 2. Sorry, I probably wasn't announcing it a whole lot while I was in VR. I think I can open it briefly. There. I'll open it briefly, so if anyone wants in on that, and you think you already have it, all right, well, then. Um, yeah, that's the first giveaway we're doing. So that's closed. All right, we'll see if that, we'll see if that helps. Was that, what was the other thing I said I did? No, that's not going to make a difference. All right. All right, well, we'll close the giveaway then. And we'll pick a winner. So here we go. And the winner is Frankie. Congrats, Frankie. I'll mark you down. So let's see, we're giving away one other thing. We're giving away a copy of Guacamele Complete. I don't know. Let me look it up on Steam real fast. You guys are seeing my background, aren't you? Here, let's swap back to here. <laughs> um, Guacamele. Let's see. There's two things. Now... Like I say, this key in particular may or may not work. I can't promise that it does because the key is for Guacamele Complete. 
That doesn't seem to exist anymore. What you have is Guacamelee Gold Edition and Guacamelee Super, Tur Super Turbo Champions something or other. Well, they're actually both the same price. Um, so this key might or might not work. I'm not sure. If it doesn't, I will do what I can. Um, and then if it just ultimately doesn't work, well, I apologize. But, um, yeah, the key is a little bit old, so, like I say, may not work. Uh, let me reset that. Yes. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure which edition this is going to end up as. Change it in the giveaway section. Melee. Right. There we go. Yeah. I don't know which version the key will link to. If it links to anything at all. If it doesn't, I'll try to get it working. Um, but we'll see. Uh, let's see, so, alright. I've done one thing that may change how this works. I don't think I've changed any other lighting. The only lighting thing, no, the only other actual adjustment I made was the star field fix. That was the only thing. So, we'll see if this adjustment changes it. I doubt it will. I get, I get the feeling it's, I get the feeling it's the scope mod. I'll be honest. Okay. There we go. Gotta restart. I gotta restart the game from here so that the window doesn't pop up on the screen. Go over here. There you go. Alright. So that's all running. That raffle is gonna be running for 80 minutes, so if you want a chance to win it, spend your caps. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's swap back to that screen. It works. And swap the cams. Whoa. That's such an old camera. I hate that it does that. Alright. Let's jump back in. And hope I'm hoping that that's what fixes the bug, because, I mean, despite the, the, the see-through scopes mod not being amazing, I would like to keep it. At least until Bethesda fixes the scopes. But if I have to uninstall it, then I'll uninstall it because I'm not using it that much. I suppose the other thing is that the game, why I wasn't too accurate with that scoped rifle, is that the game thinks I'm hip firing. I don't know. People, like I say, people have been coming up with reasons, you know, that maybe the gunplay isn't as is, is accurate as it should be. Oops, sorry about that, you probably heard that. You know, some people are saying that, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> if the scope mod turned out not to be the problem, I wouldn't think it is. We'll go back in that building if Dogmeat ends up shadowed again. We'll know it's probably that mod. Or it could be Mod Manager. Mod Manager is not actually on right now. That's the only thing. Oh, I've got that texture bug. That's nice. Okay, that's back. All right, dog meat. Let's go back inside real quick. Looks like I'm at least not getting screen tearing. That's good. Go back inside. Yeah. All right. My guess is it's the scope mod. 
I can try one other thing. Did something move over there? No, it's lighting. Okay. We're going to be outside for a little while anyway. So I think we'll be okay. As long as we're outside, this works. I mean, are you actually glowing? Yeah, I think you are. Yeah, you've got the glow effect on. So all characters in the game have a glow effect on them. It's like it's called like character. Li it's literally called CL in the the config options, and it makes it makes all entities have a slight glow about them. But I I don't know what the cause is there. Let's see. All right, we're. Let's, um, let's get some rat away going. I know it's not going to do perfectly well while the rad storm is going, but. Seem to have reduced the screen tearing. Would you get another Brahmin? Man. Hi. You're very big and hairless. It's okay though. Yes, you did, frankly. <laughs> Let's see, what were you saying? See, there's a mod that re-enables content that Bethesda was considering regarding the Brotherhood of Steel on Nexus. You can challenge author Maxon for leadership. Huh, alright. Cool. And hey, Dark Omen. Traps. Oh. oh, yeah, we're getting rats. Was that rats or is that from the storm? Well, now he's going to pick up that gun. Now that's in his inventory. Alright, found the distress signal. Let's get some Rad X going as well. There's just some radiation happening. It's fused solid. This one, too. Well, what happened here? Player. Player? Oh, player as in me, not... <laughs> Duh. I thought I was going to be able to play it straight up. Give me a bit to damage resistance. Wait. Take that. Ambush 
on the road. We're outnumbered five to one. Bottom report. Force down to five percent. We'll have to scuttle the armor. We can't let them have it. Four fusion cores. We'll head for the old military base, then try to make it to our holdout. The code will be our call sign. All right, move, move, move! All right, let's unlock this. Oop. Oop. Come on. Military ammo bag. Ballistic fibers. Okay. Molotov, pulse mine. And silver. Nice. Ooh, Esther's going for it, huh? Uh, you think the mod is Dance Delmia? Sorry, mentions blind betrayal video on YouTube. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll check it. Maybe, <laughs> if I remember. It's one of those things that certain mods, of course, don't always work in VR. That's another issue thing happening. But first, I guess I gotta figure out what the lighting bug is that's causing dog meat to go dark. And when we go indoors, and it's, well, it's causing everything to go dark. I say the only other thing I can think is it's the scopes mod, and I wonder if it has to do with taking away the reflective surface of the scope. Nobody else complained of the issue, so I don't know. Hard to tell. It's hard to tell what what goes wrong. Things bugging out here and there. Wouldn't wouldn't be Bethesda and mods if it didn't bug out. Oh, that's where we're going. Oh, that place is full of super mutants. like the second rad scorpion I've seen. We're gonna have to go inside. There's gonna be some indoor stuff. shooting at me. Whoa! Freaking rad scorpion, really? Oh, 
fuck's sake. That turret is still on me. See if I can hit that thing from here. Probably not. I can barely see the crosshair. Where's that? I legit can't see the darn thing. There it is, it was faded out. At this point, I don't think the scopes mod is uh, worth whatever lighting bug I'm getting. <sighs> so what was it? You posted on Twitter the perfect gift for Moon to help her when she doesn't feel like drawing. Stand bars. Didn't know you could put Fallout mods in Fallout VR. You can to a certain degree. And hello, Lemon Germ. How you doing? Um, they don't all work. <laughs> Sorry, my nose is itching. Not all mods work. There's, there's a list that people are building on what mods actually work uh, for, for Fallout, between Fallout and Fallout VR. Um, like, one of the things was that the settlement building one that you could place stuff in red. Um, originally that required like a cheat engine, but someone actually uh, made it work standalone in VR. So you didn't have to like install a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, the scopes aren't really working out. I think the RNG is just too much. Such a shame too, because I, That turret hasn't seen me. Let's see if we can hit this thing. Because sniping is one of my favorite things. It's one of my favorites, uh... I did hit it. can't tell exactly how this scope is supposed to work. Me 
mean, if you got the time, I guess, right? Guess if you got the time to make it work. We've got some power armor here. This power armor has a helmet! Dog meat! Dog meat, dog meat! It's an expert lock. I can pick expert locks. Dog meat! Look at this! Power armor now, baby. You'll be fine. Be careful. There's still turrets around here. Also, probably landmines. Ghouls and everything else. Follow the distress signal. Wow. Oh. oh yeah, pit boy is. Pit boy is now this. Wait, that means. Haha! <laughs> I've got headlamp! Yeah, a lot of people. Did not to make it out. <coughs> Sorry. So you're getting HTC Vive next paycheck. Nice, congrats. You have $215 in Amazon gift cards. Nice. It's pretty good. Let's just bring to the motherhood, uh, brotherhood mod you mentioned earlier. No, that's fine. You can go ahead and post that. That's cool. Thank you. It, it's probably better to message it to me just because I'll forget after the stream is over. So... Yeah. It's a lot easier to read the pit boy now. Yeah, I can just bring it up, but it's cool because I got a headlamp now. I think there is gonna be landmines. Where's <gasps> shit? Speaking of. Dog meat, where were you on that? Let's see if there's anything else. See, now I get paranoid. One landmine goes goes off and I get paranoid. No. Again, we, I haven't been able to figure out if the mine mine sweeper works with the bats like it was an old bats trick. That you could use in standard Fallout. <clears throat> Where you could just turn on bats and find out if there was a landmine. Her. There a... There. Yeah, okay, you can. Alright, the bats trick does work. A bit of damage. Sweet, that trick works then. Wait. There's another turret. Got 
gotta be careful out here. Whoa! Incoming dog meat, wherever the hell you are, you useless pupper. Get over here. Shit, shit, shit. Knew that was gonna happen. Alright. Yeah, that's the one by the satellite dish. So you have a hard drive. Yeah, nice. Bring your controller closer to face when trying to scope. If you bring the, sc uh, the controller close to your face when trying to scope, shoot, does it help? That's... I don't know. That's one of the things that people aren't quite sure about yet. Because I'm using a mod that allows me to see through scopes right now because it's it's currently not available in um in default, so I'm using a mod, but some people were determining that the game might be thinking you're still hip firing. Jesus Christ, Dogman, you are tanking it like a beast, aren't you? You doing dog meat? <laughs> you doing good? But yeah, some people were suspecting that maybe the game still thinks you're hip firing even when you bring the the, the gun up. Now supposedly they they also discovered there are settings that seem to detect where your hands are in relation to the headset, and that it should be detecting when you go into iron sights, but maybe it's not. So there's a there's a mod out there that apparently fixes that. Um, so I might install that. I just didn't have time last night. I, you know, currently we're having a bit of a bug where lighting indoors is not being correct on entities, so... Let me show there's no landmines out here. So I may end up having to uninstall the scope mod anyway. And as soon as we go inside that building, you'll see the, the bug I'm talking about, because... And I think... Uh, the only thing that's different is I've installed a scope mod. So we figure... That's got to be causing this issue, which means everything, every entity in here is going to be black. Dog meat? No. Dog meat's got a skin. Okay, way to show me up, game. The game is messing with me because I was going to show that to you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it was the building. Maybe the building was bugged. I don't know. No, because I've seen it a couple times. No, so it wasn't just the building. Who knows? I don't know. It's what happens when it's, it's what happens when you mod. You just don't know what's gonna happen. 